Firefighters from across North Carolina, of course, the whole country are working to contain wildfires that are burning in our mountains. And as you can imagine, it's hard work with many of them working 12 hour shifts. So this morning, a local group is working to give them some relief in the form of much needed supplies. CBS North Carolina's Beershell Edmay joins us live from Cary with the details on what you can do to help. And where are you there, Beershell? Good morning. Well, I'm here at a cafe, certainly ready to eat up as we're here in Cary. But let's talk about what's important here, and that is the wildfires. You all have mentioned it earlier and how much it really is taking a toll on many of our western counties. But there are businesses throughout our region who are stepping up to help, and that includes Barry's Cafe right here in Cary. They have been asking for donations, but it's certainly not the first time that they have been stepping up to assist our first responders. And I'm joined now with the owner of the cafe, Barry. Doyle. And like I said, you have such a rich history here. So before we talk about what you're doing to help now, let's talk about how this all started, your partnership with firefighters. Oh, yeah, I'm Beer Show. It started oh, quite a while ago, 1994, just out of the blue. It just happened. Uh, we were here minding our own business and got a phone call for some coffee and sausage biscuits at a raging fire out on 40. And, uh, where there had been a big wreck on a bridge, and it was in the middle of an ice storm. So they, people were freezing cold and uh, wondering if we could bring them some coffee. The firefighters did, and so sure, we packed up some coffee and uh, uh, about a gallon. But we got out there, and there was way over 100 people there. And so that from, coffee didn't last very long. <laughs> and from there, you certainly came back and assisted some more. And once again, you're getting the call to help our first responders. So talk to me about how that went and what role you're going to be playing for those who are out in our western counties. Okay, uh, sure. Uh, yeah, the people all over the state had, or all over the world, actually, we have stuff from 30, 30 23 countries in our cafe so people from everywhere have heard about what we do so they called and uh, emailed me yesterday from the western part of the state and wondered if we could gather some things together like uh, boot socks wool boot socks and leather gloves and duct tape for I guess their blisters and all kinds of different stuff that we could uh, put together and bring to them that they they are they're in need of you know and now you're certainly asking the public to step in and assist in that and we want to talk about the donations that you can bring here to Barry's cafe you guys open in just about 15 minutes here so what are some things that your customers can bring to assist the firefighters uh, uh, well like I said uh, the socks hand warmers batteries double-a and triple-a batteries are, are not on the list that you'll see um, lots more stuff, hand sanitizer, lip balm, eardrops, all uh, just a, la a large amount of different things. Protein bars, um, bandanas, moleskin, um, work gloves, like I said, wipes, foot powder, hand, and hand sanitizer. I guess I already said that. So just a lot of different resources that will help our first responders as they're trying to battle the raging fires out there. We certainly thank Barry for his assistance here. We'll be here hopefully getting a nice warm meal and seeing some donations come in. So why don't you head out here to Barry's Cafe and Carrie.